How's it going, you guys? AZ Plyo 21 back again with our first pay per view here in our UFC Save and UFC Reborn here in WMMA 5. It is UFC 289 Volkanovski versus Rodriguez. The undisputed featherweight championship is on the line here in our main events of this one. Three title fights total on this pay per view the featherweight, the flyweight, and the women's bantamweight championship. Also, Shevchenko in action and along with Brian Ortega in action a stacked prelim card as well should be a great pay-per-view international fight week everyone's super excited i'm excited as well appreciate you guys whether you're watching on youtube or twitch as always be sure to follow me on both links are down in the description below as a reminder our next episode is going to be ufc on abc usman versus chemaev um so kamaru usman taking on hamzat chemaev in a welterweight battle uh, well that will actually be our next fight card episode that you guys see our next episode that you guys will see will be me me doing a big booking stream uh you know the big booking stream that i do where i just you know book the the full month uh of the the next uh, month of uh fight cards i guess you can say um yeah gamrot is on that card as well and usman chemaev also got thug rose versus amanda lemos jeff neal versus kevin holland that should be a pretty good card uh, upcoming pay-per-views include UFC 290 Sterling versus O'Malley. Uh, three title fights on that one as well. And then UFC 291 Jones versus Miocic. That one in New York City. That should be a big one as well. Uh, again, appreciate you guys as always. Let's get right into it. UFC 289 Volkanovski versus Rodriguez. As always, leave me a comment down below. Follow me on Twitch, on Twitter, all that good stuff. Let's get into it. Las Vegas, Nevada for International Fight Week. No better place for a fight night. Stephanie Egger taking on Chelsea Chandler to open up our prelims here in the featherweight division. A uh, division that definitely needs some work, needs some fighters, needs some fights into it, needs some history to, you know, have some things going on in there. Stephanie Egger gets the win via split decision after three rounds. Norma Dumont taking on Josie Nunez, also in the featherweight division. Norma Dumont, big favorite in this one. But Nunez actually gets a knockout in round number three. 23 seconds into the third round, the 11th win of her career. Natalia Silva taking on Miranda Maverick. Mar Maverick seemed to be a really big prospect up until she had her fight um, with Macy Barber that Barber kind of stole. Um, people thought it was not a great decision that went Barber's way. Either way, Miranda Maverick, still with a lot of time under her belt, uh, can move forward with a big win over Natalia Silva, and she does get it. Unanimous decision here for the Maverick. Lucky Lauren Murphy, who has fought for a championship, taking on uh, Macy Barber. Here at 125, I'm a big fan of Macy Barber. I always have been. It is what it is. She's taking on Lauren Murphy, 39 years old, a lot more experience. Um, and it is Lauren Murphy who gets the unanimous decision victory over Macy Barber here today. Lauren Murphy with the 17th win of her career today. Uh, the Bear Jew, Paul Craig, taking on Iwan Kutelaba at light heavyweight. Uh, Paul Craig having himself quite an interesting career, especially after the draw against Shogun. Four straight wins, including the now champion, Jamal Hill. I was actually there for that fight uh, against Jamal Hill where when he got submitted and basically got his shit dis dislocated. Uh, a loss to Vulcan Uzdemir and then a loss to Johnny Walker. Has him in a little bit of a weird spot, but he can get all that back with a win here against Ewan. And he does not get it. TKO victory for Ewan Kutalaba in round number one. Sean Brady coming off his first loss of his career, taking on Jeremiah Wells. Now, Sean Brady was undefeated, was a very, very good prospect until he came up against Bilal Muhammad, got beat by TKO. I mean, Bilal, that, that dude's for real. So Brady, nothing to be ashamed of there. He takes on Jeremiah Wells, and it's Sean Brady with the unanimous decision victory here today. Moving right along, Nasser Dean Imovov taking on Kyle Baralho couple of big prospects in the middleweight division and it looks like it's going to be Baralho with a split decision win over the Russian sniper in Imovov here today 15th win of his career 
uh, the Raw Dog, Brandon Royval, taking on Manel Cape in our featured prelim here today in the flyweight division. Royval, a big fan favorite just because of how much he loves to scrap. Gotta love that dude. Taking on Manel Cape, and it is Royval with a first round knockout over Manel Cape here today. And he loves his punching power. Moving on to the pay-per-view. Everybody bust out your $80 now. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh my goodness. Ads all over the place. $80 for the pay-per-view as Brian T. City Ortega takes on Ilya Toporia here in the featherweight division. Uh, poor Brian Ortega has now officially broken up um, with his girl of, of quite some time. <clears throat> and Tracy Cortez. So condolences to him. And you can see how it's affecting him. He's on a little two-fight losing streak. On the other side, you have Ilya Tuporia, who last year, people were calling for him to fight, you know, <laughs> Patty Pimblett, of all people, when he really should be fighting, you know, people like Bri Brian T. City Ortega. Tuporia against Ortega, and it is Ortega with a TKO, interestingly enough, over Tuporia in round one. Wow. T. City. Like that knockout that he had over Frankie Edgar back in the day. Just bringing it back. TKO against Topuria. That is insane. Gotta love it. T-City back in the win column. A big, big fight here. Uh, Valentina Shevchenko, former champion, taking on a absolutely dominant rising force in Aaron Blanchfield. Now, this could end up being a little bit of a mistake for me as far as booking. Everyone will say that Valentina absolutely just deserves a rematch. I'm not sure why I made this fight. I just like the way it looks, so I booked it. Erin um, Blanchfield, should she get a big win over Valentina Shevchenko? She is absolutely deserving of a title shot. Um, Shevchenko, obviously, if she wins, she's going to get the title shot again. Uh, but yeah, I may, may have put myself in a little bit of a rut here by not booking uh, you know, a challenger already for Grosso. Uh, but it is what it is, you know, Shevchenko, she could be on, you know, the downslope. And Blanchfield, she's been absolutely killing it. 5-0 uh, in the UFC, wins over Jessica Andrade, Molly McCann, Miranda Maverick, JJ Aldrich. She's been absolutely killing it. Only 24 years old. You know, she's got that, that resting bitch face that, you know, is a little bit attractive, but also scares you a little bit. A little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of that. Um, yeah, Shevchenko also has that as well. Former champion, future Hall of Famer. Interesting to see what happens here. Let's let's go ahead and take a look. And Blanchfield knocks out Shevchenko. Holy shit. Knockout in round number two for Aaron Cold-Blooded Blanchfield. The New Jersey girl gets it done. Knocks out Valentina. And so she will be fighting. For the championship against Alexa Grosso. And I would not put it past her to just destroy Alexa Grosso as well. Because who knocks out Shevchenko like that? That is ridiculous. And she's, yep, she's calling out Grosso right now. Crazy. First title fight here on this pay-per-view card. Amanda Nunes taking on Irene Aldana for the Bantamweight Championship. Huge underdog is Aldana. But we all said the same thing about Juliana Pena. Going for another champion in Mexico, by the way, Irene Aldana. A couple straight wins over Macy Chasson and Yana Santos. Uh, Amanda Nunes, of course, getting her win back over Juliana Pena uh, after losing to her via submission. Been pure dominance from her. And uh, she's looking to, you know, get it done once again against Irene here tonight. We'll see what happens here as the Bantamweight Championship is on the line. Our first title fight here on this save. Nunez with a counter left. Trying to go to the body. Nunez driving Aldana to the cage. Muay Thai clinch. Oh man, she needed the side of the ribs. That hurts. Aldana can't get out of the Muay Thai clinch. Aldana gets out and they engage in the center. 1-2 lands. Nunez with a good right hand. Final minute of round number one. It looks like Nunez is going to easily take this first round. Nunez nails a right cross. Round one expires. 
So 10-9 here for Nunez. Aldana coming forward. Right hand to the body. Both fighters stepping in. Nearly misses. Uh-oh. Aldana backing off. Muay Thai clinch now. Aldana is able to get free. Get away from that Muay Thai clinch. That would have been a dangerous, dangerous knee upcoming. Quick head kick lands and she's hurt. Now she's trying to lock in the Muay Thai clinch. Oh no. Sternum crunching knee to the chest. That sucks. Huge knee to the stomach. And, and round two thankfully runs out for Aldana. She's getting absolutely wrecked. She might have a cracked rib, they said. Nunez with a great right hook. Rubbery leg. She's hurt. Head kick and she's out. So Amanda Nunez knocks out Irene Aldana with a head kick in round number three to defend the Bantamweight Championship. And so now we'll have to see because it might just be Juliana Pena, you know, um, the trilogy fight might just have to happen um, in the in the Bantamweight division. That remains to be seen. We have our co-main event here for the Flyweight Championship of the World. Brandon Moreno taking on Alexandra Pantoja. Moreno is a huge favorite in this fight. However, Pantoja does have a win over Moreno in his career. So let's go ahead and take a look and see who comes out as the flyweight champion here today. Both fighters stepping in. Pantoja lands a right hand. Two fighters engage. Pantoja with the one, two. Moreno lands with the right. White hook lands for Pantoja. Right hook gets blocked from the cannibal. Second half of round number one, not too much going on. Wouldn't be surprised if Pantoja actually edges out this round. Might be up 10-9 by the end of this five minutes period. Moreno not really doing much. Solid right hand lands again for Pantoja. They're saying Moreno took the round. They're saying that he's stamping his authority. Moreno lands a right. Moreno attacks with a right cross. Lands a right hook. Moreno striking in punches and bunches. Punches and bunches, four rapid strikes. Sharp one, two. Four punch flurry for Moreno. This dude is absolutely quick. Four rapid strikes. Four punch combination. Four quick punches for Pantoja. Round two comes to a close. Definitely an exciting fight. 10-9. They're saying Moreno's up by two rounds. Nice right hook for Moreno. Pantoja misses on a right hook. Four quick punches land. Nice right hook lands for Moreno. The Assassin Baby. Here's to be getting it done here as we are well into round number three. Right hook lands for Moreno. Kick to the leg. Round three comes to a close. And they're going to say that it's 30-27 Moreno and that Pantoja needs to pick it up. Pantoja starting to slow down a touch, apparently. Punches and bunches once again from the Assassin Baby. Powerful straight white. Pantoja wobbles, then falls. Moreno bouncing on him quickly, and it might be over. It is. The Assassin Baby Brandon Moreno retains his flyweight championship over Alexander Pantoja. The man getting it done here tonight, defending his crown as we head to the main event. One Mexican champion couldn't get it done. The other one defended his crown and now another Mexican champion looking to become undisputed as Yair Rodriguez takes on Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. 
you can see Volkanovski's last fight, a loss to Makachev uh, for the lightweight crown. It is what it is. His first loss in the UFC, which is absolutely insane. Um, but either way, Volkanovski now looking to defend it here against Rodriguez in our main events. Keith Peterson, the referee, as we are underway. Huge underdog is El Pantera. Leg kick attempts, nothing doing. Volkanovski shoots in for a takedown, and he gets it. Halfway point of the round. Head kick. Time runs out on round one. And they say Volkanovski took it. Uphill battle for Rodriguez heading forward. Two left hands land. Looking to unleash some strikes. Halfway point of the round. Fighters are coming together. Solid left hand lands for Volkanovski. Both fighters step into strike. Roundhouse kick to the body. Stepping forward, looking to strike. Volkanovski hits a jab in the exchange. Volkanovski hits a pair of jabs. Head kick does not connect. Lots of stuff going on here, but no real, you know, actionable things going on. No takedowns, no knockdowns, or anything like that. High kick barely gets missed. Round three comes to a close. And Volkanovski might be up 30-27, and Yair really needs to pick it up. Rodriguez looking very tired. Oh, man. Rodriguez pins him to the cage, or Rodriguez gets pinned to the cage, I guess I should say. Quick elbow strike. Nice short uppercut. Rodriguez takes a stomp to the foot, halfway point of the round. Nothing going on back in the middle combatants meet in the center and nine of Volkanovsky and so it might just be 40 to 36 here as we head into round number five it looks like El Pantera might not be able to unify the belts here. It might just be Volkanovski defending his crown. Volkanovski might be getting a little tired here. Oh no, left exposed. It's been kicked to the ribs. Ouch. Right cross gets blocked. Uh oh. Unable to get a trip. Rodriguez going for it there.
And so that will do it. That's round five comes to a close, and it is Alexander the Great Volkanovsky getting the win over Yair Rodriguez and unifying the belts once again, undisputed featherweight champion of the world. Celebrates continuing his reign as champion. A nice little attendance in Nevada, $4.89 million at the gates. Only made $800,000 on pay-per-view for some reason. Uh, popularity increases basically all around. You love to see it. Um, fight of the night, yeah, we'll give it some Moreno Pantoja, absolutely. Uh, performances of the night, Ortega will definitely get one. First round finish of Toporia. Um, and then let's give one to Brandon Roy Vall as well. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, cool, $4 million in profit. Absolutely love to see it. Uh, appreciate you guys as always another reminder the next pay-per-view that you guys will see um, is the Aljamain Sterling versus Sean O'Malley main event. I'm AZ Plyo 21 uh, Next time that you guys see me I will actually be streaming um, Me booking the next month of uh, fights. That should be a good one whether you're watching me on YouTube whether you're watching me on Twitch I appreciate you guys. I'm AZ Plyo 21 and I will see you guys at the fights